to do diversity, okay? So you know that diversity is a mixture of species evenness and species richness. Species richness is the total number of species. Species evenness is how evenly distributed they are within that population. Now, um, there's a couple of different ways to calculate this. You need to have richness, that's its own number. You need to have evenness, that's its own number. But there's two different ways to calculate diversity, or generally accepted ways to calculate diversity. There's the Shannon Wiener Index, and you feel free to look that up. It's a little complicated to do in this setting. Uh, there's also one called the Simpsons Index, and that's mathematically a little more simple. Uh, it's generally uh, kind of, Shannon Wiener is a little more tailored for wildlife specifically, so that's typically what you see within those professional circles. However, the Simpsons Index works, and that's what I'm gonna teach you just for the, the sort of the um, ease of understanding, okay? That and because when you go do this lab, you'll be at home and I won't be with you to coach you through it. So um, I think the, the, the Simpsons Index is the way we should go with this. So uh, let's check, check it out. formula is pretty simple, and I'm going to try to make it nice and bold so you can see it. Diversity equals sigma, that's the sum of, okay, lowercase n times lowercase n again minus 1. Okay, now the lowercase n is going to be how many of a particular car you counted. We're going to do this in a parking lot, okay? So uh, let's say I counted five Toyotas. That would be a lowercase n for Toyota, all right? Now, there's going to be a capital N in just a second. So uh, I'm going to walk you through, like, what this might look like. That gets divided by capital N, which is the total number of cars you counted, n minus one. I'm going to walk you up here. Sigma lowercase n times n minus 1. And you're going to add all those up for each one. And then you got the capital N, which is going to be the total number, so you don't need to add anything up because you already added it up. All right, so let me explain. Let's say I go into a parking lot and I've got uh, Chevy. I own a Chevy, so we're going to start there. So let's say I count five Chevys. Uh, we got Toyotas. And uh, say Ford, Ford F-150, I think is the most popular selling truck in Texas. Let's say there's 10 of those. Okay. So uh, what you're going to do is go to a parking lot that has 30 or more cars. Uh, I suggest you not choose a huge parking lot like, you know, Prestonwood Baptist Church or Walmart or something like that. It was like 2,000 cars. Don't, don't do that. Like a little, a little church, a little business, just, you know, burger joint or something like that. You're just looking at the cars, okay? And so uh, for these, these would be lowercase n's, okay? So I'm going to add up. We're going to do old school, like, like third grade math here. So my n times n minus 1, so my n for Chevy is going to be 5 times... 5 minus 1. And that's going to be for Chevy. Now what I need to do the next one. Toyota was also 5 times 5 minus 1. And Ford was 10 times 10 minus 1. Now I'm going to add all that stuff up and I'm going to get some sort of answer for my the top of the equation. Okay. And I'm not going to create a variable proof for that. I'm just going to write A N S for my answer. Now that answer is going to get divided, just like the formula says, the total number, which in this case I had uh, 5 and 5 is 10, so I had 20 cars. 
So 20 times 20 minus 1. Okay? So whatever that comes out to be, that's how you calculate the Simpson's index. Okay? And uh, I'm going to erase this board, then I'm going to show you what your data sheet's probably going to look like. Here's what your data sheet's going to look like. First part, you got kind of a T-chart, but it's lopsided, right? You need a lot of space on one side and not very much on the other. So I've got species. In this case, my fictitious species are going to be car manufacturers. So I have species Chevrolet, Ford, Toyota, Nissan, Honda, Jeep, Kia, and Hyundai. Hyundai, however you say that. Hyundai. Whatever. Anyway, those are going to be my species. And right here, the slim side of the T-chart, I have lowercase n. So let's say it, it, just in the math that I just referenced, I had five Chevrolets. I had five Ford. No, I had ten Fords. I had uh, five Toyotas. And let's give these some other numbers. Let's say yeah, everybody like Nissan. I, I don't know. Maybe we got 15 Nissans. Um, Honda. Uh, we got 15 of those. Good, too. Jeep. Uh, Three. Uh, Kia is probably going to be five. Hyundai. Uh, does anybody own a Hyundai? One. Okay, so there's my, my lowercase n's. So I don't have to really wonder what lowercase n is because I already got it right here on the data sheet. And then I can just add all those up at the bottom, and that tells me my capital n. So five, five is 10. That makes 20. That's 30. So that's 50. So 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. 59. So in my little scenario here, then capital N is going to be 59, and these are all my, my lowercase n numbers. And then you go through the math that I just showed you, and that calculates the Simpsons Diversity Index. Okay, so the next part of this is to get a full picture, we need an evenness number and a richness number. So the, the easiest part of this is richness. That's the total number of species you counted. So in my little, my little example I'm doing for you here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So my richness is eight. And you could even put that right here as a capital R. My richness in, in this little example is eight. So species richness is the total number of species, which of course in this case is types of cars, or car manufacturers, let's say. Now, evenness, and in this case we're gonna do evenness as a percent. And w when I did this in wildlife science, um, then we would actually be calculating area, you know, using like uh, one-tenth and one-one-hundredth acre plots, stuff like that, to figure out how much like land area is covered by a particular type of grass or something like that. We're not gonna do it that way. Uh, in this case, A, because um, it's a demonstration of these numbers and what these numbers mean, that, and because um, parking spaces are a standard size. So you don't really need to calculate the area of the parking space. But this is how we're going to do evenness. Evenness by percent, you're going to take the lowercase n for that species and then divide it by the total, okay? So in it, so let's say my, for Chevrolet, it was my first species, I have five. So for Chevy, is going to be five divided by 59, okay? And you're gonna get a, a tiny decimal number. You move the decimal place over two spaces, and that's going to give you a percent, okay?